Good morning, my name is Andrew and I have a scripture this morning that I hope encourages you. It's taken from 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 3 to 9. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. To an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory at, and honour at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Now, this portion of scripture was, was written to believers that were scattered abroad. Um, they were distressed by various trials and that included persecution for their faith. When hearing these words from the Apostle Peter, the believers would have received great encouragement to enjoy, endure their present challenges. An inheritance was awaiting them in heaven, eternity spent with their saviour, Jesus Christ, a living hope confirmed through his resurrection from the dead. In the midst of what has been a challenging time for many of us, this scripture also brings great encouragement to us. It's wonderful to know that we have a father in heaven who loves us and has shown us such mercy and we definitely need it. He has saved us through his son, Jesus, and promised us an inheritance which is not going anywhere. As the scripture says, it's imperishable, un undefiled, unfading, kept in heaven for us, as the scripture says. Um, we have great reason to rejoice because of this. Paul encourages us in Colossians 3.2 to set our minds on the things that are above, not on the things that are on the earth. May this be where we set our gaze, both in times of security and also in times of challenge. May we have confidence knowing that the result of our faith in Christ is our restored relationship with God, our salvation. We are challenged at present in various ways. You know, our faith is tested, but this testing of faith, though challenging, it is helpful to us and it helps us to cling to our Heavenly Father as we well, cling to Him more, as we realise all the more our need for him. And it also proves the enduring quality of faith. We can also rejoice that these trials are just for a time. What awaits us is far greater than anything we've ever known. So let's allow this scripture to encourage us as we go into our day. Our Lord has done so much for us and has so much prepared for us beyond this life. May we too praise God with Peter saying, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you.